Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I will show you how you can create a sequence set and preset for Adobe Premiere Pro in a few minutes. That will allow you to create a new sequence without a need to change any settings and you can just set it to the way you like it. So it is actually very simple. You just gotta go to the file menu, go to the new, go to sequence, then just go to the settings. Then where it says edit in mode, just got to scroll up here and choose custom. After you choose custom, you can go ahead and change all the different settings such as a time base, frame size, aspect ratio, fields, display mode and other settings. Let's go ahead and quickly change to the sequence setting that I prefer to use in my project. For the time base, I'm going to leave 29.97 frames per second. For the frame size, I mostly use the full HD, so I'm just going to put full HD. For the pixel aspect ratio, I'm just going to be using regular square pixels. For the fields, I'm going to put no fields, progressive scan. For the display mode, I'm going to choose non-drop frame time code. Then for the audio, I'm just going to leave everything the same. For the video preview, I prefer using the quick time. And for the codec, I'm going to use Apple ProRes 422 LT. And it is much lighter than the iframe impact that comes by default and it will allow your computer to work faster and more efficiently. Once you have input all the settings, you can go ahead and click save preset. In the first field, you can type the name. Let's go ahead and call it Pulsar Tech 1080. And you can also put the description that will allow you to know what settings you have included in this preset. So for example, I'll put ProRes 422LT. This way I know which codec we used and then click OK. It's going to refresh the list of the sequence presets and as you can see there is a pulsar tech 1080p in the custom folder here if you press ok it's going to create the sequence so now if you go ahead and create a new sequence you just go to the file new sequence and then you can choose this sequence from here and then just create another sequence so this is that simple well i hope you guys find this video helpful if you do please support it with your like Subscribe to the channels for more interesting, helpful Adobe Premiere Pro videos. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll try to help you as soon as possible. This is it for now. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.